What's good, everybody? This is the kid, DC Wrestling, back once again with another one like always. Um, it's been a couple of days now since the news came out that Tamina, Bobby Lashley, and MVP have been taken off the WWE roster. And I know MVP recently put out a tweet pretty much saying that this was his goodbye from WWE and thinking his time at the promotion. And, you know, Tamina, she's been with the company for God knows I don't know how long, you know, she's been with the company for over a decade. Like I, I legitimately cannot tell you the year Tamina made her debut because she had she had been with the company for so long. But MVP and Bobby Lashley were the main ones, obviously, you know, um, because during their time in WWE, you know, they did so much. You know, I've seen tweet after tweet, headline after headline, specifically saying that Bobby Lashley was ruined in WWE or how Triple H... Um, did not book Bobby Lashley right or how Triple H was racist against Bobby Lashley or just racist in general. So I've just been seeing tweet after tweet, headline after headline. But um, me personally, I, I don't I don't necessarily think Bobby Lashley was misused in WWE. The man was a two-time WWE champion. He had a little rough start coming in the company back in 2018. Like, y'all know the god-awful Sammy feud and the sister segment. And then don't even get me started with Rusev and Lana. Like, that was just peak WWE being trash, garbage, just completely down the drain. But he formed an alliance with MVP, and he became the almighty. Then he became the almighty WWE champion. And then, as you see in the picture here, they formed the Hurt Business. Now, the Hurt Business, these guys were running rough shot, man. If you remember what they did in Raw Underground, that one scene... In my opinion, the greatest moment in Raw Underground history where they just completely destroy everybody and everybody in their way. Like the Herb business, and it looked like it was going to help, especially Cedric, Alexander, and Shelton Benjamin, you know, because they weren't really doing anything before this. But now, because they were with the Herb business, it was like, holy crap, like, let me stay out of these guys' way, you know? Um, but they never really fully capitalized on the Herb business. And I know they were trying to bring them back together because they were teasing it. Like, you had Cedric and Shelton starting to team up again and MVP talking with them and Bobby and then Omos as well. And they just never fully capitalized on it. So it was kind of a shame that uh, the Hurt Business didn't get back together. I mean, a Hurt Business and a, and a Bloodline feud, that would have been really cool to see. But, um, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Um Next, I know there have been some people speculating that the Herb business can get back together um, because the original plans for the group was for Ricochet to be in the group originally. And because Ricochet is a free agent now and Bobby going to be gone and MVP gone and Shelton's obviously already gone, you can very well put them back together on the indie scene or maybe they go to a promotion and take over that promotion, you know, but I don't know. I honestly don't know. I can't really sit up here and tell you where I think Bobby could go. He did wrestle for TNA before he came back to WWE, so he could easily go back to TNA because he go to AEW. I don't know. Knowing how AEW can be sometimes, I just I just don't know, you know. But um, yeah. Another thing too, and I, I don't want to be too long on the video. Um, they never really went anywhere with Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits, you know. Like, the Street Profits were going to get a little bit more serious and a little bit more tough and a little bit more aggressiveness. But then they turned face, and now look at the Street Profits. The Street Profits haven't really been doing anything. Like, they've just been kind of tagging along with B-Fab, and they haven't really been evolving since the partnership with Bobby Lashley. And now, because Bobby Lashley is gone now, the Street Profits are just going to really remain the same for the most part, you know? Um, but anyway, that's kind of my two cents on it, the whole ordeal. And, um, you know, I say Bobby had a good run in WWE, like, uh, United States champion, WWE champion. He got the feud, the match with Brock Lesnar, even though the feud was kind of underwhelming, you know, he still got it. So an MVP, I, I say from his run, from his point of view, I say he had a pretty good run too. So not necessarily bad in any sense of the word.